Have you ever tried talking to a friend with a feeling that she's not really listening to you? Have you been in an argument with someone and you know he just doesn't get your point? Or have you ever tried saying one thing and the other person just understood it the other way? Hi, I'm Daphne. In our past videos, we learned that communication is a process of exchanging ideas, feelings, opinions with others, and its purpose is to achieve a clear and effective understanding so that as a result, there would be better relationships in the community. There are times, however, where effective communication is not achieved. We call this communication breakdown. We've previously learned that there are elements in communication, such as sender, message, receiver, feedback, and all those. However, the same elements can also pose a problem to the process of communication. Communication breakdown happens when the intended message is not understood exactly by the receiver. So, what are these barriers to effective communication? Let's name them. One, physical barriers. Two, psychological barriers. Three, cultural barriers. And number four, linguistic barriers. Physical barriers are natural or environmental noises that affect the process of communication. For example, while you're talking to someone, you just cannot hear each other because there's noisy music around you. Or when you're talking to someone on the phone, there seems to be a lot of noise around you. There are chickens, you're probably passing cars, and you just cannot understand each other that way. Or for example, when you're trying desperately to listen to a speaker in front of you, but your seatmates are too noisy and you, can, you cannot help hearing what they're talking about. These are physical barriers. Psychological barriers are mental barriers. These are the personal and social issues of a speaker towards communicating with others. These may include like stage fright or somebody's lack of confidence in communicating with others or that feeling that you may not be understood if you said it this way. These are examples of psychological barriers. Cultural barriers pertain to communication problems encountered by people due to differences in values, tradition, and beliefs. For example, one gesture might mean something nice for you, but for the other person, it might mean offensive. For example, it might mean nothing to you if you stare at somebody out of admiration, but for another person who sees you staring at him or her, that person might get offended, might find you rude. Generally, people's culture affects the way they communicate with others. And finally, linguistic barriers, which pertain to language and word meanings. Because words have denotative and connotative meanings, sometimes this may cause a problem in communication. One word could mean literally this way, but the other person could interpret that word in another way because that word could have a different associative meaning. So when are instances when linguistic barriers happen? For example, there are differences in language, differences in pronouncing a word, um, accent and dialect, use of jargon and slang, or speech defects or language impairments. Sometimes you might be listening to a speaker, but you are distracted by the way the speaker uses certain expressions or repeated expressions that distract you from listening to the actual message of the speaker. Now let me give you a simple exercise of telling whether this situation is a physical barrier, psychological, cultural, or linguistic barrier. Are you ready? Let's start. Number one, how about a lack of confidence? Okay, that's right. It's psychological barrier. Number two, Connotative and denotative meanings of words. Correct. That is linguistic barrier. Number three, being in a loud party. Okay, that's physical barrier. Number four, different races. Correct. That's cultural barrier. Number five, poor lighting. 
Correct, that is physical barrier. Number six, lack of interest and attention. Okay, that is psychological barrier. Number seven, different views and opinions. Oh, correct, that is cultural barrier. Number eight, using idiomatic expressions. Okay, that is linguistic barrier. Nine, information overload. Okay, that is psychological barrier. And finally, number 10, feeling frustrated. Okay, that's psychological barrier. If you got everything right, congratulations. Recognizing the barriers or obstacles to effective communication is important to avoid communication breakdown. Listening is a very important ingredient for effective communication. Sometimes we listen only so that we can reply. Let's work towards listening so that we can have an understanding of each other. Thanks for watching. Let's have a simple of a into jargons or special cultural. We call these communication barriers. Of. Okay.